Once all the project information has been added and the links connected, next is to add the budget. In order to do that, over here on the left, you click Budget and click Add a Budget Item. Here you'll find all the different divisions that would be associated with your project. You can name it. <coughs> Choose a vendor. Needs be category labor. We'll start with labor. Quantity would be the hours associated with this particular labor responsibility. So if you're using uh, a general formula to estimate, say $500 per person per day, um, and you know you've got a team of two working on it for four days, you know that that's uh, $1,000 a day. You're going to divide that. You're going to find the hours. Okay. So let's say that's the case. We're going to go with 40 hours of labor, which is... Um, two and a half days for two people and comes out to two thousand dollars whoa sorry <laughs> if you're estimating it'd be the fifty dollars uh, per per hour per day right so for a total of two thousand dollars for this particular budget item you can select a start date or an end date right now we're just gonna hit save and show you what happens here this will create a labor category under this particular scope and it automatically adds overtime labor the reason ass assigning the quantity as hours is so important is for when time sheets are entered, you do so by hour and it begins to calculate the cost of labor, uh, the committed cost of labor for this particular project, also adding a burden percentage that's calculated as a part of each employee's uh, uh, information. So make sure you enter the hours. Uh, other things are a little bit easier. Choose a division, name it. Um, uh, partitions, choose the vendor, it's material cost, quantity, we're putting up 30 partitions, cost per $200 per uh, each. Okay. You've got the different units there, cubic yard, each, hour, lump sum, um, ton. Okay. Hit save, again it populates the budget. When you're done with the budget, you can lock the budget. Uh, this is a privilege associated with a role uh, that the estimator would have. It cannot be unlocked unless you have the privilege in Pathfinder to do that. You lock the budget, it ensures that somebody has to operate out of this or document change orders uh, as needed. So that's how you add a budget, how you lock a budget. And the budget is set and the project is now ready to hand off.